Hello everyone and welcome back to another Jed Bedrock Airsoft video. In this video I'm going to be discussing Jewel Creep for AEGs only. Now this shouldn't be a long video, it's pretty simple, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, first, Jewel Creep is when your heavier BBs go faster than they should. You can do it with a standard weight BB, but you're going to run into it with a heavier BB, usually, most all the time. So, what is jewel creep? Let's get into it. Okay, so if you put, if you go to a field and you're running heavy BBs and your normal BBs were fine, but your heavy ones go too fast and you can't play with them and you're not happy, that is jewel creep. So, I'll explain to you how that happens. So joules is the measure of energy in your BB. Now I'm going to try to stay as far away from math and school stuff as much as I can. So joules is the amount of energy in your BB, i.e. how fast it's going. Uh, so if you have an AEG and you put 0.2 gram BBs in it and you shoot and your gun shoots at 350 feet per second. That is indoor. But if you put a 0.25 gram BB in your gun and you adjust the hop up so it shoots the same as the other one, uh oh, your gun is shooting at 360 feet per second. How did that happen? Your BB's heavier. It should go slower, right? And you have more hop on it. Well, I will show you how that happens in an AEG. So, to do that, I'm going to have, give you an example. So, let's say you have a water hose. And when water comes out of it, when it's just normal, the water just drops right down. But, if you put something over it, like let's say a piece of paper, or your thumb, or something, it blocks half of the exit. Well now, the water is going really fast, and it's going much further. Well, the same thing happens in an AEG. That's because the amount of water back here in the hose has to get out of the hose in the same amount that it was before. So when this is all open, it just comes out. There's no resistance. But when you put something over it, it has to go, it has to put the same amount of water here through the smaller hole. So the water goes faster to do that. So when you're talking about an airsoft gun, the same works for air. If you have your barrel here with nothing in it, the BB is going to come out at 350 feet per second cool, right? You're, you know, you can play indoor and everything. And but what happens when you let's say a 0.2 for you shoots real good with no hop on at all. Your barrel looks like this. But if you turn on your hop, your barrel starts to look something like that. Notice this top part is gone. Well, that's because the hop up protrudes into the barrel. So for every amount of this space that you lose, the air has to go slightly faster to get through that smaller section. Which, you know, for a point two, may only make it 352 feet per second. Now, this is with no friction. So, like, let's say you greased your hop-up rubber or something. This is with no friction. The BB's experiencing no friction. Let's say you want your BB to go even higher. Well, you're losing a lot of space there. So now the air has to go even faster to get through the hop-up rubber which may get you like 360 FPS. So, how do you, so, 
this does happen in some guns. In some default guns you buy, this can happen. But what happens a lot of times nowadays is things are ma being made with better material out of the factory and there is friction. So your point two here, when you turn on the hop up, yes the air has to go a little bit faster but because there's friction on the BB and it's getting bumped by the rubber and it's grabbing it, this 352 may lower to 347 being due to the friction and this 360 may lower to 300 let's say 38 so it's going to make your BB go slower and that really depends on how good your hop up rubber is does it grip the BB um, and stuff like that and there are different hop up designs to help against this so let's talk about your heavier BB because this is how it happens when you have a point two your barrel looks like this you have a little bit of hop up in there to make sure it goes straight but you put in a heavier BB okay so here's your heavier one but it falls to the ground so you put more hop in there so now you've lost almost twice as much space say point two eight you've lost almost twice as much space well this air is going faster than this air so what can happen if you don't have a good hop of rubber or if you've oiled it too much or anything like that this point two eight goes faster than it should compared to its weight so yes it should be slower but the air is going faster here and it's not making good solid grip contact with the rubber now, things that also influence this is the type, how your hop of rubber is built. So, for instance, a Crytac hop of rubber is triangular, like this, and it grips the BB along its path, like that. And so it blocks as little as possible but it still grips the BB really well. So this will not have much jewel creep as long as it makes good solid frictional contact with the BB. When you turn up your hop up the BB will slow down because you're putting more pressure and more contact on the BB and for the pressure you're putting on it the mass is not changing. The levels of these change. For another one, you may have a hop-up rubber that's kind of like that, on the side. And so when the BB comes through, it makes more contact here. Now this is usually called a flat hop. These uh, are really good for hopping a BB, and it's more contact. So while you do have a bit more protruding, the uh, air is going faster, but the BB is making more contact and it will go slower. Another form of hop up, and this is one that's more prone to jewel creep, is that kind. Because the BB is only making contact right there, on the very tip. So the BB makes very little contact for the amount of hop up that's happening in there. It just depends how much pressure this is putting on the top of the BB as it's going through. So I have a gun that has this type of hop up rubber and it jewel creeps really really badly. But all my other guns are a flat hop, crytac, and a GNG bucking which is kind of like that one, but it's a little flatter. It's a little bit more flat, so it makes more contact, and it's a lot softer. So when the BB comes through, it kind of bends this upward when it comes through and makes more solid contact. But if you have a harder rubber and it's more pointed, it will lend itself to jewel creep because it's not slowing the BB down enough to compensate for this air that's going faster. 
So, one way to calculate this, and this is where, and the you can leave the video now if you want. I've explained it. I'll basically just be explaining more so how to calculate uh, if you'll juke creep, how fast your BBs have to go, stuff like that. So if you're using a 0.2 BB at, let's say, 400 FPS feet per second, then the field is going to tell you that your joules are about 1.5 joules to play on that field with a 0.2 gram BB. Now, when you want to go play outdoors, you need a BB that's heavier for the wind and they will go farther. So you need 1.5 joules for a 0.28 gram BB. Well, how fast does it have to be going? Because if you don't have a chronograph or something, then you need to know how fast can your 0.28 go before you have to back off on the hop up if your gun jewel creeps. And this for AEGs, so it's dependent on the hop up. So you use an, a math equation, so joules, or a physics, is one half the mass, which would be 0 0.00028 because it's in kilograms and the BB's in grams and then you have your velocity that's in meters per second so that is how fast your BB will be going so if you want to know how fast it goes you have 1.5 joules here and when that calculates out that is equal to around it's like around 339 feet per second. So your point two at max speed for the field limit for the joules needs to be going at no faster than 339 feet per second. And you can do that to find, you can use this equation to find out everything about what you need to for your BB. Uh, you can find out how fast is its maximum speed. You can figure out uh, what weight of BB you'll need for a certain, you can have for a certain speed. So you can use this to calculate it all out and if your gun jewel creeps really badly and you want it to stop, just get a new Pop up rubber. Just get a new bucking. Just get a new one. Um, I don't think the hop up unit matters that much as much as the bucking does. It may a little bit. Um, I mean, you always want more fine tuned ones, but if you really need to solve your problem, get a new hop up rubber because that's what's causing your gun to jewel creep. Um, and if you're and Used to, it was a type of thing um, where guns were made with cheaper materials and stuff. And so, uh, my field, they still do it today. If your gun is shooting too fast, they tell you to turn your hop-up off. Well, because of this, and because of the different hop-up rubbers that are out nowadays and everything, that usually only works for f guns that have a factory uh, hop-up rubber. And even the higher end guns nowadays uh, don't have that. Um, some do, some don't. It really depends on the quality of rubber that the factory put in your gun. So if when you turn up your hop up, if the BB goes faster, then you now know what's going on and you just gotta replace the hop up rubber. They're easy to replace or you can do it yourself or get someone to do it. Um, I may make a video on it sometime later. And uh, I uh, just wanted to get this out to you guys. Alright, well, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.